So now that we've printed our new step test based on the curve that we created earlier, I'm going to go ahead and scan that new uh, step test so we can kind of compare the differences in the computer. So again, I'm just going to place it in here into the scanner in the top right hand corner. Preview that. Again, we're not going to need all this extra black, so we'll just pull in these sliders a little bit just to save some of the room. And earlier we'd set this up, so it still says Albumin Stonehenge. And I'm going to change this just a little bit and just put Curve so we can tell the difference. We'll reset this to 1. We're still going to be using TIFF as our file format. Just to make sure in case anybody else has used the scanner for any other reasons, we want to check the configuration and make sure that it's still saying no color correction. Once that's been verified, we can just go ahead and tell it to scan. So now that we've scanned both of our images, we're just going to go ahead and open back up the USB stick. And we're going to open up two files. We're going to open up Albumin Stonehenge and Albumin Stonehenge Curve. Now, before we've created the adjustments on that original file to generate our curve. So just as we're looking at these kind of for comparison purposes, we're going to take this first one and turn off the background copy, which was the blurry one, and then also the curve so that we can kind of see what our original values kind of looked like. And then for comparison purposes, we need to also look at the, the new one with the levels adjustment as well. So on our new, on our new um, Stonehenge with the curve, we're going to apply a levels adjustment. And again, just like the other one, we're just going to drag in these sliders to the ends of our whites and our black points. Okay, and now we'll take a closer look at kind of what these values are kind of looking like. And just so we can see a little bit better, we'll kind of zoom in here a little bit. So as we start to look at these values, you can see really in our first one, you know, it took us almost to about 30, 25 or 30 to start to pick up some amount of, of value. I mean, here we're getting the 20s, but you know, we were in the 10s and 15s for, for most of these values um, as we came through here. And you'll notice in our new step curve, we're really starting to pick up some value, you know, around 10 or 12. We're already all the way up to 25, 36, 16. So that's really going to help us in the highlights start to get some separation so that everything's not just blown out. These, these values, even all the way to about, you know, 25 or 30, is going to look like a blown out highlight. So this is really going to help us start to be able to separate that, that high end. And you'll notice we've got good separation as we come through these kind of middle values. And then as we start to look at the low end, we start you know, to get nice rich blacks down here at the bottom. So our curve's really going to help our, our image kind of give us a good rendering of all the values that we have in our, in our prints. 